let's go over how much money I actually made on this paycheck. Now, as you know, for my base pay, I get $42 an hour. After working the day, day shift hours, you get shift differential for working evening shift and night shift. So because my orientation does go into evening shift, um, as that time runs in, I get $45 an hour. So as far as the total amount of hours I worked for this paycheck, it was 76.5. Now, as a staff nurse, you work, you get paid for two weeks. So you get paid bi-weekly. So between my first week and the second week, I made a, I did a total of 76.5 hours. Now that gross pay is a total of $3,245.18. So that's my gross pay. Now after taxes and my, um, after taxes and deductions. So for my taxes, I got, and that's state Medicare, federal and state, state Medicare, social security and federal taken out. And for that, I had a total of $1,122.02 taking out um, for the state and federal social security and Medicare. Now, as far as my um, retirement fund. As you know, I always try, regardless of which company I'm working with, I always try to contribute to my 401k or 403, depending on the, what the company has. Now, I did not transfer an old one into this new one, um, just because I'm still currently working, as you know, as a per diem travel nurse. So I'm just going to leave that as it is and then um, contribute to that, contribute to this. So a total of $194.65 was taken out for my 403B. And that's towards my retirement fund. Now, some of you might think that's a little much. It's almost $200 just taken out for retirement. But personally, I think it's very important to be saving for the future. Um, I pray to God that I live to be 60, 80, 90 years old. So I would like to be prepared for that time because I would like to not work. So like I said, I'm contributing of almost $200 towards my retirement. After I'm at this company for one year, they will match it 5%. So I'm contributing, I'm contributing 6%, but they will match it 5%, which I think is awesome. That won't be until a year, but until then, I'm going to continue to um, contribute my 6%. So after the taxes and the my retirement fund is taken out, Medicare, because I do pay additional for my medical and dental because I want the top, <laughs> honestly, because you never know what could happen. So I like to prepare. But like I said, after the taxes and, and all the other deductions are taken out, for my take-home pay, guys, I took home a total of $1,868.23. And this is working 76 hours, like I said, 76 hours to, in two weeks, and I took home $1,800. Now, as you know, that is such a big difference from what I was getting paid as a travel nurse. I was making minimum $2,000 a week. So I have drastically decreased my pay, but I feel like my mentality and my peace of mind is drastically different also because, as you know, I was working in a department that I did not enjoy working in. Um, it was very chaotic and unhealthy, and honestly, I felt like I would be placed in a situation that would drastically have my license at jeopardy and I did not want to stay in that situation. So I have decided, as you guys know, I am in the NICU right now, which is the big reason why I stopped travel nursing like I was doing. Um, so I'm going to get this experience in the NICU. I love it so much so far. And I don't, gen I genuinely think I'm going to retire into this department. I don't Think I'm gonna want to work anywhere else um, 
So I'm super excited about that. So there you have it, guys. That is the paycheck that I got for this very first paycheck as a NICU nurse. I am okay with it, obviously. I feel like once I start actually getting off orientation, orientation is three week, um, three months. After I get off orientation, I will be picking up over time because I love my job. That's saying that um, basically, if you love what you're doing, it's not no longer like work. You don't feel like you need to take a vacation because you genuinely enjoy it. And that's how I'm feeling right now working in the NICU. So I'm super excited to continue this journey with you guys. Please stay tuned for upcoming videos because I am going to try my best to be posting at least once a week um, with new things that I've discovered and I wanted to share with you guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed day.